Hi everyone, welcome to this talk by Oxford University Press. This is a series of shorter videos that actually addresses frequently asked questions that we receive. Before I share today's frequently asked question, I'd like to invite you to connect with me on my Twitter handle, which is at Jennifer Wathel. Or if you would like to have updates from Oxford University Press on their resources, please connect on their handle, which is at Oxford underscore IB. So what is today's frequently asked question? Let's have a look. What are the general recognition updates from universities around the world in terms of the new Diploma Mathematics courses? And I know this is one of these burning questions that many educators ask. So let's first of all have a look and recap that there are four new courses that are going to be offered for first teaching in 2019. So we have the analysis and the approaches at SL and HL, and then we also have the applications and interpretations at SL and HL. So how do we help our students uh, in terms of university guidance and recognition? What are the general trends? Well, as we know, the IB is divided into three regions. So we have the Americas region, we have the also Africa, Europe and Middle East region, and we also have the Asia Pacific region, which I have colored yellow, blue and red. So for easy reference, let's actually start by looking at the universities in the IB Americas region. So some very broad general headlines. The first one really is about some universities in Canada and also in the US. So you can see that British Columbia, University of Toronto, and then some of these American universities, they actually recognize all four courses depending on the program that the student applies for. And then McGill University in Canada, they recognize three courses. So they recognize the analysis and the approaches SL and HL and also the applications and interpretations HL. Now in terms of Ivy League schools, well they will basically evaluate uh, on their applicant pool and they'll most likely accept the HL mathematics courses. However, a student that studies applications and interpretation SL may not be as competitive. And I think for highly selective institutions with competitive business and engineering programs, I think the applicant pool will probably be quite heavy in the analysis and the approaches HL pathway. Okay, so some more updates from the Americas. We're moving to South America. In Latin America, guidelines really vary country to country and several universities actually have their own assessments. So it's very important that you actually contact individual universities and also look at national curriculum. So in South America, many use their own national curriculum scores, uh, for example, as in Argentina. So uh, it's very important that I think that everyone checks the individual universities' guidelines and their protocols. Okay, so having a look at the IB, Africa, Europe and Middle East region, we have Germany and Germany recognizes both HL courses to contribute to a general university admission qualification. Um, Germany also uh, recognizes both SL courses to contribute to a subject specific university uh, admission qualification, which is great news because we know that there were some challenges with the mathematical studies course before. And Germany also will recognize both SL courses for non-STEM programs. So it's still very important that you look at the individual university's website to see which mathematics course is actually recommended in terms of university application. In the Jordan, uh, the Ministry of Education recognizes all four courses. So that's wonderful news as well. Now, some more updates from Africa, Europe and Middle East. So you can see here Austria, Finland, Ireland, Georgia, Switzerland, Norway, Denmark, Spain, Netherlands and the UK. They recognize both of the pathways and will be advising their respective universities to set admission criteria based on the program that the student is applying for. 
So UK universities generally accept both HL courses and in a few cases there is a preference for the approaches and analysis HL, for example in LSC, Bristol, Exeter and King's, if the actual university course that's applied for is in mathematics or engineering. So moving to the Asia Pacific, in this region, the University of Hong Kong, Chinese University of Hong Kong, Lincoln University in New Zealand, and there are several universities in Singapore, they accept all four courses. There is one university in Singapore, it's the University of Technology and Design. They actually recognize three of the courses if the student is applying for a mathematics program. So for example, if a student is applying for mathematics at the Technology and Design University, then the three courses, Analysis and Approaches, SL and HL, and the Application and Interpretation, HL, are the prerequisites. The University of Sydney recognises three of the courses. They are the analysis and approaches at both SL and HL and the applications and interpretations at HL only. Okay, so what are some headlines? Um, as we know, university recognition is a complex and it is a challenging process because every single university has their own guidelines and they detail and outline their guidelines in, in different ways. So some of the headlines that we found were that most universities have no preference between the two HL subjects. Uh, so for example, Oxford, Queen Mary, McGill, Concordia, Imperial, unless you're studying physics, they actually have no preference for whether you're uh, actually taking the analysis and approaches HL or the applications and interpretations HL. Cambridge, however, prefer the analysis and approaches HL only if you're studying mathematics. But they do say on their website, if it is not available, if the analysis and approaches HL is not available, please contact the, uh, the admissions. So that's good news. Most universities accept, I accept all four courses, uh, depending on the actual program that the student wants to enroll in. So I have a list of examples here of different universities from around the world that, it, that accept all four mathematics courses, except some do not accept the applications and interpretations SL. And it really is a, a minority. So as an example, Erasmus University in the Netherlands, uh, McGill and the University of Sydney. I would say for any mathematics programs that a student wants to enrol into at university, um, I would say that they shouldn't be taking applications and interpretations SL. And I think a student that wants to pursue mathematics at university most likely would be taking the approaches and the analysis HL course. Okay, so as, we, as I said earlier, the university recognition process is complex and it is always recommended that students and teachers check the requirements at individual institutions because they are updated quite regularly. If you would like some uh, general global university updates from the IB, please pick up this QR code and you can see a whole list of different universities from around the world that the IB have uh, collected and we value your feedback. So if you'd like to give feedback on this video and also receive digital copies of the OUP Mathematics Diploma courses, books, then please uh, feel free to pick up this QR code. I'd like to thank you for listening to this short video again and I hope to see you soon. Bye.